So this is a little story about Grandma Ollie's hutch and many of the things that were on her hutch. And Mom's going to tell a little bit about them. You'll notice that there's something missing up here in the top corner, and that was a clock. So, Mom, tell me about the clock that you had that was up at the top corner up there. It was a chime clock, and uh, there's another tile. Mm-hmm. So you replaced the battery in the clock and then, so that it, you didn't have to wind it all the you time. You didn't have to wind it every day. And where did the clock come from originally? Mother bought it and then had it on the mantel in the basin Okay. when I was a little girl. So you had it in your house almost all your entire life. Yeah. Except for the time when you were, when Grandma, when you didn't live at her house. Yeah. Mm. And now James has it, and he can listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it, James. Well, that's a teapot from my grandmother's house, her great-grandmother's house in Ireland. And my grandmother brought it over when she came to the United States. And this is for them. Tea. It came with it at the same time, and my grandma used it all the time for tea and to store tea. This was a vase that came from Ireland with Grandma Walker as well. What was this bell? Okay, ready? And a bell at one time. So this could have been one of those that collections. That was one of them, and then there was a couple of others. There were a couple of metal ones, and then there was a china one. Okay. Let's. Stop. I was trying to figure out what it was. Well, I do for decoration. It, isn't, it doesn't Nothing. have a purpose. No purpose? Mm -mm. Okay. <coughs> well, those were my mother's, but where she got them, I don't know. It's interesting that they match, but they're, they're um, opposite. They go in opposite directions. Yeah. That's a music box. Stein and underneath it. It plays when Irish eyes are smiling. Yeah. Where did it come from? Mother brought it home one time when she came home from San Francisco. Oh. <laughs> it's a good one. I like the song. What about these birds? I don't know. She kept them. She had, they were, as long as I can remember, they were on the shelf. Oh, on that hutch, huh? uh -huh. they were on the shelf. She had a red one too. She had a red bird. She collected birds for a while. Hmm. She got five or six of them, and then I don't know what that would do. Hmm. The elephants came from Dr. Barker, mother's to buy podiatrist friend. Oh. And. Uh, she was one of the first women to graduate from Cook County Hospital in Chicago. She was the first woman. And where'd she get the elephants? Her boyfriend gave them to her. And she gave them to Mother as a gift. Mm. She didn't have any place to put them because she was moving out of her house. Oh. And there's a box someplace. It's got a tusk and part of her nose or something in it. Yeah, I found them. I put them in the box with them. So, some pieces that had broken yeah. off, yeah. It came from India originally. And that is, was the least the mother had at her wedding. Grandma Ollie had it at her wedding. At her wedding. Oh, wow. It's such a pretty, it's a very intricate crystal club. I what about this picture? That was Grandma Myrtle's. She always had it in her kitchen, and I don't know why. Hmm. But it's a hand-painted German one. 
very pretty. And those are some binoculars from the opera. Opera glasses? Opera glasses. And whose were they? Where did they come from? I don't know. I've always seen them. <laughs> Should have asked your mother, huh? <laughs> I think she could have told me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they're pretty intricate. They're kind of... <clears throat> tiny. This this picture looks a little big, but they're they're kind of tiny little, not very big, opera glasses. Though I could just watch people take doing the opera. How about there, this one. That was a carving from next door. Marjorie gave it to Dick for his birthday, and she had this. What they have. Um, press that they had for uh, different statues. Like a mold? Yeah. Hmm. And it's... Uh, so this was your neighbor in Phoenix? In Phoenix. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's a, a cowboy. She had a lot of cowboy paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. She probably thought Dad would like that, huh? Yeah, and he did. And he did, I bet. Those are bottles. That's the cork. Oh, the head, the hat is the cork. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And you got them from? I bought them. You bought them. We were, they came through the port. They couldn't take them through the port because they had whiskey in them. Ah. And it was coming across the line. Uh huh. This is an Eastport. Yeah. And I was collecting bottles at the time. I had several. So um, I bought them. <laughs> from Myra, right? From Myra. Myra. So Myra must have bought them from whoever had them, huh? So were they people that were coming into the United States or going going out of the United States? Coming in. Coming in. And they couldn't bring the whiskey in. Yeah. So was there whiskey in them when you got them? No, they had already been dumped. They dumped them. Okay. But they still couldn't bring them in even if they dumped the whiskey, huh? Well, it had already been cut, passed through customs. Ah. And they couldn't go back and do it. So that's why you got them. I'm not sure if there's any more or not. But they're made by um, an Indian boy. I don't know, someplace we've got the number on it. It was a, um, this is a model. But he carved these out of, and then they made molds of them and sold them. Okay. And you said it came from somebody from Browning. Running. They're the ones that made them. Indian. How about these lovely beauties? Well, this one, I don't know what mother, where mother got it, but this was lace. It was dip, dipped in porcelain. Uh-huh. And so it was lacy around the picture. And this one, I won in a music contest. So the one on the right, you won for doing what? Playing the piano. Oh, huh? when was that? How old were you then? I think I was about 10 years old. Oh, really? So you won a contest, huh? Playing the piano. See, we come by this naturally on both sides of the family. That's a... Mother had that. That was an incense burner. It's kind of an interesting design on it. It's all kind of carved out or something. Do you know where she got it or what? anything about it? No? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I know we used expression. to burn it once in a while. Oh. Just to get the odor in the house. Oh. <coughs> what about this one? It's a, kind of a red vase. Well, I suppose she bought it because it was red. <laughs> Grandma liked red, didn't she? Yes, she did. Remember the white couch and the red red carpet, right? Yeah. In the living room, yep. Yeah. She liked to have the red.